as you can tell, it's a lot colder than it was last time. Me and dad were out here and got those six buffies. Uh, we had that warm spell that came through and it did take a lot of the divers that we had in this area out. Hopefully with this cold weather, we have a little bit of snow today as well. It's freezing out, about 32 degrees, uh, nice wind. We move spots from where we were originally hunting usually. We'll see how this does. Um, I'm guessing today, depending on how active the birds are, if we have more divers in the area, I expect us to limit out. If not, I'd say that we get five birds each. Uh, so 10 total between me and Sean. Sean's here today. How many birds do you think we're gonna get today, Sean? I agree with Jordan. I'm, I'm gonna say four at the least. Hopefully we get our limit. There should be some redheads back in here and uh, hopefully some buffies as well. We have a nice northwest wind today, so should be should be a good hunt for us. All right, let's see how today goes. We have about 15 minutes till shooting light. You can see it's probably just breaking daylight out here right now. I'll show you guys the spread once we get there. The coot? Oh no. But... No. Nope. Yep. We just ended up moving spots real quick. Picked up one hen buffy this morning. Sean got that bird, came in, landed in the decoys. Moved out a little bit further to open water. We're seeing a lot more better signs out here, a lot more birds. So over here on this side we have the mallards a dozen here my mojo and over on this side we have half a dozen golden eyes and half a dozen redheads hopefully this will work a lot better it will be able to traffic a lot more birds out here Well, I finally got my first duck of the day. Hen mallard. We moved four times today. We just could not find the ducks. Well, finally we found the mallard honey hole. They seem to want back in here in this woods. Uh, I'll go show you the spread. I'm gonna walk back that way now. But yeah, Sean's doing pretty good. Nice drake mallard, two hen buffies. I think he just maybe got another one as well. So let's head back there, see how he's doing. All right, here's the spread. I wasn't going to make this into a video cause you know, we weren't seeing very much, not a whole lot of activity, but I might make this into a video now. So go ahead and film it. I have open water at my back. So out here to entice them a little bit, we got a couple redheads and golden eyes and a mojo, a couple mallards over here on this side. And then when we're kind of scouting this area, right back in here where my big mojo is, we have a couple more mallards and golden eyes there. And that's where these ducks were landing. So they're actually coming in these treetops pretty low. We did have like five land over here behind us. We tried to go stalk those and we got over there and we couldn't even find them anymore. So not sure if they just disappeared into the cattails. As we were making our way back here, a single actually dropped down through the treetops, was coming right at Sean. So he was able to pick that one up. I turned around and there's five others coming through the treetops over here. So I was able to pick up a, a Susie out of that group she landed out here on the open water and tried to get away, but I was able to pick her up. So now let's head back in here and cover, see if we can add a couple more to the bag today. Man, another double curl. Another double curl. Should I check its legs? I don't know, what's on it? <laughs> there better not be any bands. Yeah. No band there. No bands. Oh, you're lucky. Still. Really nice bird though. Yeah, he's, he's great. Can't uh, believe that single came right through the trees like that. Yeah, I almost didn't get him. It was, it was a very quick shot actually. Whew. I hit him like right in between like a V of a tree. That was like the last chance I had before he was just like too far back in the woods. Uh, I wish I had the camera for that. We had like 15 working over us just above the treetops, but they were working good. They definitely wanted down in here. So 
sorry, bro. You got the Susie. I'm so sorry. No, I didn't see her coming down that low here. Yeah. I would have took the shot there. I had to do it. Good job. Woo. Your first Susie of the day. Man, now if we could have those other ones come back. I hope. Here's Sean's last bird that he got. You know, we thought it was a Susie. Look at that. A little bit of plumage on the head. For being in November here in Michigan, you would think all the drakes would be plumed out like this. Surprised this one is lagging that far behind. Even looks like a Susie on the chest. We did move. A lot of those decoys that were out front moved them back here into the pocket where we kept seeing those birds trying to get down through the treetops. It's been working pretty good. So we only have about an hour left of shooting light, so hopefully we have a couple more flocks drop down in here. Well, that's a wrap. It is officially the end of shooting time. Now time to pick up these decoys and head in. Hopefully my shot cam picked up my uh, Susie that I ended up getting. I did realize that it died at the end of the day. But hopefully it was able to pick that up. Uh, I think uh, Sean got five birds. I got one bird. All in all, not a bad day for how little birds we actually seen out here today. Hopefully this cold weather pushes a few more birds down from Canada and it starts to pick up. A <laughs>